Hi, I'm Austin Dawson. And I'm Kyle Watson. And we're here to talk to you about hair products. I use lotion in my hair. How about you? I use hair gel. Which looks better, we don't know. Uh, and we're also gonna talk to you about working out and using bands or chains for resistance. So in this instance, we're gonna talk about bands. You can get these online. Uh, they're just resistance bands. If you don't have these, we'll show you some other options. So this will be for the bench press when you take this. So what's important in using bands in particular is that you get yourself lined up uh, with your actual range of motion. So you wouldn't want the bands to be behind or in front of where you're doing your chest press because that's going to pull in one direction or the other. So you're going to want to set up your apparatus. Um, most gyms don't have pegs that you can use uh, to set up bands. So you're going to have to come up with something if you want to increase your band resistance. So what you do is you just grab heavy weight resistance. So for instance, we grabbed 100 pounds. What you're going to do you're going to wrap the band, feed it through, that way it's tight on there, okay? You're going to be able to put it over top, set this up. You want to make sure that it's evenly spaced apart, so you want both sides to be as tight as possible. Or sorry, you just want them to be uh, as equal and even as possible on the resistance. So you don't want one tighter than the other, you don't want one pulling in one direction and the other pulling. So this is set up, so go ahead and lay down for me, Kyle. So as you notice, his pull, line of pull, is right here, right? So when he gets the band set up, it's going to be directly uh, working with gravity, all right? So go ahead and go. So as he goes down, the bands are going to deload. As he comes up, you're going to increase the resistance and the load. That works with his natural force curve. So sometimes you're not going to have enough resistance throughout the range of motion. You can always increase the tension of the band, uh, but the length of the band is, is so long that you're not going to have a lot of tension no matter how much uh, resistance is on the band. So what you can do is you just shorten the band, so you'll just wrap it around another time. Okay? So we'll just wrap it twice, it's just going to shorten the band. That'll put a little more resistance on there. Okay. Now, if we don't feel like that's enough resistance, nothing, nothing stopping you from wrapping it three times, which we will do. And so that way you're going to have taut tension the entire time on the bar. As you can see, go ahead and do another rep. dumbbell and you just put it right underneath where your chest is going to be okay not behind not in front like we talked about earlier uh, just right there dead center of where your chest is going to be and then just feed the band underneath of it okay and you see how the handles are up here like that they're not going to really grip on very well so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just twist them down so that you'll have a more hugging fit so you just pull it slide it on the way right there. Now, there could be issues with this particular uh, type of feed because one end might be a little bit tighter than the other end, but that can be fixed pretty easily. All you do is just get here, you just kind of press it up and down a few times, and the band will adjust itself to where it's even. All right, so Kyle, demonstrate. As you can 
can tell there's constant tension on the band. Um, oftentimes, if you want a little bit more band resistance, you can either go with a stronger type of band. 